I got all I could get out of that one. Now, I don't know if this is necessary, but it don't cost me any extra money. The theory is these heat transfer rods. So I gotta have a double wall to give them some stability. Then I fill this in with cement. And then up above here is gonna be the water line with another little strap. Well, one length holds about one pint of water in the tube itself. So I've got another one. That'll equal one quart of hot water flowing at all times. So I already had these quarter 20 bolts and I was thinking they're way too long. I was gonna cut them and then I thought, well, I might as well leave them like that. Transfer rod. Copper cladded steel rod. <laughs> and there's this. These work out perfect. Halfway finished with my porcupines, 125 out of 250. There's the last hundred pieces. Now I need to sand the ends with my new grinder because my old one burned out yesterday. Right, there's a hundred pieces all straightened out. The last five pieces. So I, what I did is I opened the hole up a little bit on the outside so it slips through. And then the inside hole is tight, a couple thousandths under. Two hundred and fifty heat transfer rods copper plated steel rods <laughs> I'm going to add one more length of 3 8 copper tubing on the outside here <laughs> like I did here so they'll probably come out this side this is going to be the shower side. This is going to be the kitchen side, in theory. <laughs> 